Hi all, in this session, I am going to discuss about break and continue in system Verilog. Okay, we will see how break and continue works especially in system Verilog. First of all, this break and continue are the keywords. Uh, these are all the statements we use to control the loop flow. So this break and uh, continue can be used in all the loops um, such as while loop, do while loop, for each loop, for loop, repeat loop and forever loop. Okay. We can use both these keywords in these uh, supported loops. So we will see how um, exactly the break and continue works. So the bre break keyword, the break keyword is used to terminate the loop prematurely. So why the name is called prematurely means suppose if we have multiple iterations in loops. So we use loops for iterations, right? So if we have multiple iterations, suppose take it as an example like 10 iterations. So if you use after the fifth iteration, if you use this break keyword, it will terminate the loop prematurely means before completing all the iterations it will come out of the loop okay so generally based on certain conditions the loop is terminated so uh, how to know that after five statements only it has to terminate the loop so that is based on the conditions so if by using the condition we can terminate the loop okay so what it will do is if we use the break keyword inside the loop it will uh, when the break statement is executed it automatically it immediately come out of the loop okay it will not go into execute the statements which are followed by the break keyword okay then come to the continue statement here it's also same as break but what's the difference is it will not come out of the loop here we use continue keyword to um, to execute the statement okay continue keyword is used so what it will do is it is used to jump the next iteration immediately without executing the statements after the continue keyword. Here in break how it is when the break statement is executed it come out of the loop right. So in continue it is not like that. So when the uh, continue statement is executed it is um, it what it will do is it immediately jump to the next iteration. It will not execute that current iteration. So for example if you have 10 iterations okay after the here also we will use those conditions like break only same whatever the procedure is there for break that is applied to continue also the difference is suppose if you have a 10 iterations so you have condition like that when my iteration after the fifth iteration uh, you are using this continue statement okay what it will do is at the fifth iteration the, whatever the statements are there that is not going to execute okay it will jump to the next iteration means it starts from sixth iteration that fifth statement uh, fifth iteration what are the statements are there that will be not executed so the continue keyword is used to jump the next iteration immediately without executing the statements after the continue keyword here what it will do is this execution of continue statement leads to skip the execution of the statements followed by the continue and jump to the next loop or iteration value so in break how it is the execution of the break statement leads to the end of the loop. So here it will not end of the loop. It just skip to the next immediate iteration. Okay. The current iteration will not be executed. So here I have one figure in, in this picture you can understand better. So here you can see that loop construct. So here we will write the what is that loop whether it is a for loop for each loop while loop, do while loop, any loop we will write here. Inside the parenthesis we will give the, uh, we will provide this expression, right? So if we have multiple statements, we have to use begin and end. So here I am having multiple statements. So inside the statements, I am using break and continue keyword. So by seeing this figure, you can understand that what you see at the, uh, this look at the arrow mark, how it is doing. Like when the break statement is executed, it is coming out of the loop. Here this end keyword is there. Here our loop is end right. This is the end of the loop. So what it will do when a break statement is executed, it is coming out of the loop. So what are the statements outside the loop that is executed? And when you use the continue keyword, it is going to skip the that iteration means the statements which are followed by the continue keyword that is not going to execute. It is again going to the loop construct and it starts from the next iteration here. Again, it will come like this. Okay, so this is the difference between. So we will see in the code. Here I have an example for break and continue. So you can see inside the model, I am declaring one array, int array of 10 size. This is the fixed size array. So here my array size is 10. 
okay in initial begin loop what i am doing is in i have taken two for loops okay so in first for loop i am updating the array values so here i have taken iteration so int i equals to 0 i less than size of an array size of an array is nothing but 10 right so um, uh, my iteration value is 10 inside the for loop what i am doing i am putting the values into the array that is of i square okay so after that i am printing the values okay uh, so after this um, tenth iteration means when i equals to 10 this statement will be executed because i is less than 10 right so when i equals to 10 uh, the for loop is terminated and it comes out of the loop this statement will be executed okay in second for loop what i am doing is i am uh, taking break statement so i have told that uh, generally we have to take one condition so based on that condition the break statement will be executed okay here same it is same i equals to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus in begin and loop what i am doing is if my i value is 6 break statement will be executed so till then till then this statement will be executed so till 5 uh, till i value is 5 the display statement the it will print the array values so when i equals to 6 it is not going to uh, print the next iterations okay because break statement we have used break statement what it will do the execution of the break statement leads to the end of the loop right so when i equals to 6 the break statement will be executed that leads to the end of the loop end of the loop means here here our end of the loop right so it comes out of the loop and this display statement will be executed and no more iterations will be executed this ith value 6 means I, I value is 5 right that time only um, whatever the statements are there this is printed after the 6th when i equals to 6 no more iterations will be executed only till 5 you can see the iterations okay so here i'll run the code this is simple example anyone can understand so just learn the flow okay see till 9 this is um, this is for for, for this is for the first for loop okay here i am updating the array so it is completing all the iterations because i is less than 10 so till 9 you are seeing uh, values right so this is the for the first for loop till 9 we are print, uh, we are printing the values after that this is come to the second for loop here what i am doing till 5 i told you right till 5 you can see the values because when i equals to 6 break statement will be executed right when our i equals to 6 when i equals to 6 break statement will be executed break statement if executed it comes out of the loop out of the loop means this statement will be executed right this break example ended is out of the loop so when my ith value is 6 index is i i right i equals to 6 break example ended this statement will be executed this is the example for break how break works just i am changing the keyword to continue I told you that both procedures are same just we have to interchange the keywords so and execution is different okay here what it will do when we use continue keyword when it it skipped it skip the current iteration and jump to the next iteration immediately right it will not come out of the loop what it will do is it just jump to the next iteration I told you that whatever the statements are there after the continue keyword that will not going to execute okay when ith value is 6 so it jump to the next iteration means after the ith value is 6 continue keyword is executed that means this statement will not be executed it jump to the next iteration means it goes again to the for loop here when i is uh, 7 from 7 it will start again 7 8 9 it will complete the loop but only the difference is the current iteration whatever the condition satisfy uh, and whatever the statements are there when this continue statement is executed that iteration only it will not going to execute and instead of that after the uh, ith value 6 means 7 8 9 10 uh, 7 8 9 that will be executed this is the difference between break and continue just it will not terminate the loop okay continue keyword will which continue keyword is not going to terminate the uh, loop what it will do is it leads to the skip the execution of the statement followed by the continue keyword okay here you can see this is uh, as it is i am printing the values so in com uh, come to the second iteration for loop here you can see what my condition when i equals to 6 continue keyword is executed right so here you can see 
are you seeing any sixth ith value is six no right because it skipped to the it jump to the next iteration so whatever the ith value six that is there that is not going to execute what are the statements are there uh, at the ith value six that is not going to execute that's why you are not seeing the sixth index here zero one two three four five after five seven eight nine you can see right there is no sixth index because it skipped to the next iteration value these are the difference between uh, break and continue break leads to the end of, end of the termination continue leads to the uh, it jump to the next iteration immediately it will not go into execute the current iteration okay current iteration means what where the continue statement is executed that iteration, iteration will not be executed these are all the difference between continue and uh, break so i hope you understand you also take the example with any other loops take while loop or do while loop for each loop so try the this break and keyword break and continue keyword okay so thank you